oh, I'm going to take every single one of those boardroom executives, strip them, tie them up, fucking lower each of their bodies into a vat of acid, freeze those vats of acid to below zero, and fucking decapitate them while I make their children watch. Oh, this is recording. Hey, you! You like the set it off? Uh, set I have going on for this bit. You like that? You you like you like the banner? Uh, hey hey you you could you um could you not could you pretend you didn't hear what you just heard? No. Hey Alexa, delete my search history, you bitch. Nah, you a punk ass bitch. Enjoy the prison food. Oh, FBI, uh, open up! So the fetish show gets a new season, but not its better half? I don't know if it's because I'm ace, or if it's just because I'm the odd one out, but I really didn't and still don't like the weird cat girl shit that this show had to offer. Fucking kill me. Okay, so before I end this video, I'm gonna go over some reasons Martin Mystery should have gotten the revive and not fucking totally spies. Number one, Monster of the Week is a cooler genre than the action slash adventure genre. Number two, little to no sexual shit, like Martin's just crushing on girls. It's, it's like it's like Brock from Pokemon. Yeah, there's the occasional foot massage, just don't think about it. Number three, the characters are better developed. Number four, the enemies are more interesting. Number five, Martin Mystery has better comic relief characters. Number six, the sci-fi tech is better in Martin Mystery. And number seven, finally, number seven, Martin Mystery himself. Enough said. These are all objective fact, and any and all attempts to suggest to the contrary will be met with immediate legal action from the Ghost Hunters Crack Shack Legal Defense Team. I am the law. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Fucking bye.